We've got it fully cleared. So next up, we're going to head back up the road, go to that mine. It won't take us long to delve the mine and get whatever goodies at the bottom of that. Then we're going to go kill that grenadier and get the loot that was over there. And after that, we're going to go hit that shipwreck. After that, I'm not sure. We'll have to see what we're going to do from there. We might go check out the last point here. Uh, there's not a lot of really convenient points in this area after that. So we'll have to see just what we're going to do. But it'll take us a little bit of time to get those other things done. So I'm going to put the character sheet up, take a quick five-minute break just to stretch the legs and uh, refill the water. And I'll be right back with you guys.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see what more mischief we can get up to. Um, I think I'm just going to toss this stuff wherever, wherever it'll fit for the moment. Um, if I was going to unload anything, it would probably be this extraneous vehicle stuff. Uh, yeah, let's unload these steel frames. Um... I already cut down the jerry cans to two, keeping the armored wheels so I can get a couple more to switch out the wheels on my vehicle. I think that'll be enough. That'll free up almost 150 right there. So between that and that one. All right. Um, that inventory, sort category. Some of this I do want to put in specific places before I do anything else. Um, actually, before I do this, let's put the rucksack back on. Man, still can't pick everything up. Hmm. Surprise everything fit. Uh, 
guess I'll pick that stuff back up. Alright, we got everything in the vehicle. Good enough for now. Um, I don't remember if there's anything I wanted to switch out. We got the Kevlar vest upgrade, so I think torso protection is doing pretty good. Uh, we will take that rucksack off now. Got the drugs trimmed down. Um, don't need the ravioli. All right, I think we're good. Visit these sites. Stop somewhere to do a big CBM mutation round and deal with the consequences after that, and then go on a diesel and uh, duct tape hunt. All right, make sure everybody's back up to speed here. No, military composite armor is better than steel. And lighter, I believe. Alright, um, so we're just going to head up the road east and then north at the first turnoff. Go to that mine. So, let's get the vehicle started up here. On the road again. Hello, Jabberwock. I'd punch you to death, but you're not worth anything. Hello, other Jabberwock. <laughs> Place is infested. Ooh, a bear. I might kill the Jabberwocks just so I could go kill the bear. No, not a bunch of spitter ants. Alright, a bunch of poison zombies. Uh... Yeah, a bunch of them. All right, let's not hit the uh, the building. All right, all you guys, come do your do your thing. Yeah, step into the hazy cloud. Doesn't matter. That's the gas mask on. All right, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Go so, uh, ratchet up. Where is it? There it is, back behind the building. All right, manhole cover is up. Take off the gas mask. Ammo is refreshed. All right, anything I need to think about taking down with me. Got the gas mask. Uh, I've got my fire resistance CBM for the lava. Oh, let's repair our knuckles before I do anything else. Alright, knuckles are fixed. Yeah, 876, so steel's better than the brass. Um, I think I got enough space for whatever I'm going to find down there, unless they really load me up on CBMs. I can't think of anything else I'm going to find that I'd be worth carrying back. Um, can't remember if the mine floor counts as... We're going to take the uh, roller blades with us. I can't remember if I'm allowed to use them in there. Mm -hmm. 
250 charcoal? Really? Oh, huh. oh no, that was coal. Uh, can you turn coal into charcoal or something weird? No. Well, actually, it is a type of charcoal, so maybe it's a higher capacity. Huh. All right, we'll take it. Not sure I can actually load it into a smoker, but uh, we'll see. Don't need a shovel, thanks. <clears throat> All right, if anybody that hasn't seen a mine, here's a mine. Got a computer room over here. If you can hack the computer, you can take the uh, elevator down. Since I don't have that ability, get off a of run mode. I have to go down through the uh, little sewer entrance here. So you just got to be able to pry that up with a uh, crowbar type tool. Then head on down. Don't drop off the ledge there as you go down the ladders. And there's a long rope. We'll grab the long rope. And now we are into the caves. So much easier with full night vision. EBMs. Sonic Resonator. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't remember if that will go through metal or not. We'll have to try it out. That's another one I was kind of interested in giving a try. I think I'm going to be hitting a problem with the number of CBMs that I've got here pretty soon. Uh-oh, they're loading me up. I don't want an electromagnet, thanks. No thanks, although we will top off, grab the batteries, alright, we got a spiral and we got lava, nothing in the spiral, multiple lava and our stairs down, anything north of it, nope, lots of lava. Another body site. Uh, you don't care about any of this. Don't care about any of this. Other than the batteries. More gas. Another electromagnet. A lot of CBMs in this place, but only one so far that I care about. Uh, there's a few things you can do with lava. They're a source of sulfur if you happen to need it. I think they're a rent to the underworld if you've got... I, I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, there's something to do with them. You can also throw stuff into them if you want to get rid of them. <laughs> Use it like a garbage disposal. An ANFO charge. <laughs> a large metal keg filled with ANFO pellets and equipped with a dynamite primer. Use this item to light the fuse. You will then have 20 turns before it explodes and creates a large fireball. Is that my, my Shoggoth item? This assembly gives you an aluminum keg, info, and two dynamite. And that thing is 50 volume, 170 weight. Well, that info charge can just sit there. I've never seen an info charge. Hello, dark worm. Uh, do I want to mess with the dark worm? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of him. Oh man, I damaged my bruise, my knuckles already. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, our counterattacks pretty much critted the hell out of him. Let's do. Uh, I forgot. I wanted to test. Take off the boots. Wear the rollerblades. Yep, rollerblades work. So it's considered a hard floor, which is a kind of fine, funny <laughs> rollerblading around a cave. Fifty-one walk though. So should have put those on earlier. 
Alright, we got two ways to go here. They're gonna wrap around, aren't they? They are. Multiple worms. We'll just skate around them. Down again! Don't care. Oh, that's the end, and unfortunately I can't do anything with this one. Alright, well we came down here for nothing but that one CBM. Now we get to run all the way back out again. Guess I could try to waddle out with the info charge, but uh, nah, <laughs> no thanks. Uh, can I get through without getting poisoned? Barely. So, like I suspected, pretty quick trip into the mine. Mm, I better wear the gas mask again for this section. Okay, we are done with the mine. Not too exciting, unfortunately. Ah, stupid hazy cloud still hanging around. Fine. Alright, we are out of here. So, now the question becomes, what order do we do things in? I haven't hit the hotel yet to grab the map and maybe sack out there to do the cybernetics and or mutations. But we've also got that shipwreck. So I think we're going to wrap around, kill that grenadier, and uh, grab the items that were in that wreck. Do the shipwreck, go check that endpoint, and then we'll have to come back this way. So I'll decide at that point whether we want to shimmy down to the hotel to uh, refill our water supplies, get some food in us, and uh, do all that other stuff. Alright, so now the question is, can we run over the Grenadier? Jabberwock, tear gas hack. <laughs> Where are you at, Grenadier? Did you get killed by uh, acid ants? I think you got killed by acid ants. It's looking that way because I don't see one. Ooh, infected survivor I saw. Infected survivor I've got to be wary of. They've got guns. Where are you at, infected survivor? Coming from the south and the trees? Hmm. 
There we are. Just don't want him to sneak up on me and start shooting me while I'm trying to grab that stuff that's over here. Bitter ants. Nah, I don't care enough about that stuff to deal with all these stupid acid ants. <laughs> it's too many of them. We'll just leave that stuff. Alright, set up for the shipwreck. I'd rather go deal with that. Hello, body sights. Alright, going a little too fast. Or a whole hell of a lot too fast. Fusion Blaster Arm CBM. <laughs> I'm going to have a Fusion Blaster Arm CBM with 5,000 power available if I can get that thing installed. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, am I allowed to have that? Uh, yeah. Your left arm has been replaced by a heavy duty fusion blaster. You may use your energy banks to fire a damaging heat ray. However, you're able to use or carry two handed items, and your strength limits what you can use with your one hand. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know how that would go over with my melee martial arts style. I may have to settle for attempting to get the fusion cannon installed in my vehicle. Hmm. Either way, we're going to go grab it, so... Can't believe one of these guys has got a fusion fusion blaster CBM, fusion blaster arm, on a drug site. Actually, this looks like two different body sites. No, this is still the drug site. Oh, giant rattlesnake! Anything else on here I care about? Nope, nothing else I care about. Run mode. Yeah, I don't think I can risk installing that Fusion Blaster Arm CBM. Funny as it would be, I think it would end up screwing with my martial arts. I don't know 100% if it would, but uh, I'm worried enough that <laughs> even having that with uh, 5,000 power available, I don't think would be worth it. All right, just a little bit further north of us, we got the shipwreck. We should start seeing some uh, razor claws and things like that pretty soon, usually. Yep, razor claw. Hopefully we got the full shipwreck. All right, I'm going to park right here.
All right, uh, first things first. I've got, eh, I've still got 75 space available there. How much do I have in my medicine space? 30, 28. All right, so drop down there. Can't believe we got a fusion blaster and a sonic resonator right out of a mine and just on the ground. That's pretty funny. I'll never get to install that fusion blaster arm in the vehicle. Oh, it will. No. Okay. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't. <laughs> electronic 6, Mechanic 6. I can get Mechanic 6. No way am I going to get Electronic 6. Not anytime remotely soon. Sure it would be funny, though. Mm. Okay, um, drop into that seat, the rollerblades, wear driver boots, Alright, well, full and slaked. Uh, this place isn't big, so it shouldn't need much in the way of food or anything like that, so I'm not going to worry that that. Drop this random stuff off. Keep having to repair my knuckles back up. Vehicle's in good shape. Temperature's fine. Torsos are still a little encumbered. But if I drop the backpack, I won't be able to carry hardly anything. Okay, let's go see how we do against Razor Claws. Come here, Razor Claw. Come here. Just fine. Oh, I'm going to need a digging tool. Possibly. Where are you guys? I'll kill them, then I'll go get the digging tool. One at a time. Oh, you're all gonna come out? Alright, fine. Razor Claw good eating? Be kind of convenient if Razor Claw was good eating. Go butcher one. Razor Claw's good eating. All right, I can get chitin off of these guys. Don't really need the chitin so much anymore, but. Okay, still some razor claws up there, but I think that's good for the moment. Let's run back. Grab my entrenching tool and my food dehydrator. 
And a big old pile of batteries. It's 1500. And we'll see how quickly we can get this done. <laughs> I just keep on cooking. Let my auto attack, my counter attack kill the stuff for me. Alright. Pick up the chitin because there was other stuff I needed it for. Not as much meat on these guys as I thought, but we'll roll with it. That's just funny. Um, I'm going to go finish exploring before I finish doing this meat. So let's drop right here. All of that. And those. And that. Yep. Alright, we'll come back for that stuff after we explore. I want to explore while I've got the light. Alright, what are we looking at here? Heavy machinery, firmly sealed, same thing. Light machinery, okay. Alright, we got a safe. What is that? Shallow water. Finish killing everything before we pop the safe. So we got the stairs down. Nothing out back. Alpha Razor Claw. Which one will use the Alpha? That one probably? Yep, Alpha Razor Claw. A blood red gigantic Razor Claw. Its sword like pinchers serve as the keepers of the nest. Alright. Come follow me, Mr. Razor Claw. I'd rather. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to kill you. On a counterattack, my bad. Razor Claw Ness is dead, and that's a plutonium generator. The plutonium generator is firmly sealed. Hmm. Well, 
Razor Claw Row. Nutrition 60. Quench of 10. Oh, is that what's on the ground in the area? Yep, lots of row. Alright. Good to know. I could deconstruct the plutonium generator. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds like a good idea. Um, I can't interact with it directly that I can figure out. Disassembled it. Eight plutonium cells, some amplifier circuits, power converters. We'll come in and grab the rest of that stuff. Can't believe this row. 60 nutrition, 10 quench, 5 enjoyability, and 4 portions. 6 portions. That is some awesome food item. All right, gonna have to come back down here. <laughs> so that's a shipwreck. We got the shipwreck cleared out. We we'll drop off some of this stuff. Um, I think I still have space here. Eat the chunks of meat. Drop the row and the random. All right, uh, oops, grab the dehydrator. Alright, we've got all those chunks of meat. One chunk of meat left. Not enough to worry about. See you, Dragon Man. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Why am I... I'm able to craft in the dark now because I have full night vision? That's pretty entertaining. Yeah, apparently I can craft in the dark now. I am a-okay with that. All right. 
think I got all the meat from down here. I did. I head inside to get the last of that stuff. Oh yeah, I haven't done this as well. Oh, where's my stethoscope? <laughs> Don't have my stethoscope with me? Alright. Gotta remember to come back and get my stethoscope. Alright, got all the row. That's it, unless I go digging, and I don't think there's going to be anything under this. Alright, go cook this up, grab my stethoscope, check that safe, and we are done with the shipwreck. Okay, dehydrated meat supplies up to 300. I'm a lot more comfortable. That will carry us over quite a ways. Drop the dehydrator, go track down my wayward stethoscope. Put in the passenger seat, or in the driver's seat. Where'd you go, stethoscope? There we go. I'm going to get mad there if I didn't have my stethoscope. FN57 with 20 rounds. Best to use against armored opponents, really. Eh, 18 damage with 18 armor piercing. It's a semi-auto, single shot, 20 rounds. We'll grab it. Not excited about it. Not at this stage of the game, anyway. Alright. Um, let's drop that over here. 